Let's talk today about the cost to acquire customers. What's important to know is what is your cost to acquire a new customer? A lot of people don't know that. It's important to understand what that cost is to determine whether you're making any money or not. And as we go further in this series, you will understand how to make sure that your cost is lower than your, uh, your revenue. But let's talk about the cost. Any kind of out-of-balance out model will cause you to lose money. If the cost to acquire a new customer is greater than your monetization, obviously you're going to lose money. It's a known fact that if, if you're spending more than you're making, duh, it's just not going to work. So you want to make sure that the cost to acquire a customer is less than your monetization. Now, I know people in different industries will make different amounts of, of revenue per sale. So you want to figure out what your cost to acquire a new customer is and what your monetization is and work from there. If you have low monetization, then you want to realize that you may need to acquire two new customers to offset your cost. But you get the idea. So let's look at the cost of acquisition and what are they? Uh, number one, marketing, advertising, travel expenses, overhead. Now, marketing can be very expensive because when you in one pocket, you could be making money, but out of the other pocket, you're spending money. If you're spending more in, out of one pocket than you're putting in the other, you're not going to do very well. It's important to understand your marketing cost and make sure that it's a small percentage of your total revenue coming in, usually 5%. Or, or less, sometimes maybe more depending on the results you get from it. And then we have advertising. Advertising is, is just what it says. Where are you going to advertise? If you're a small business, you, you may use local magazines. If you're a big business, they're using TV and, and radio and internet and that kind of thing. Uh, it, it's just getting a good person to work with you and making sure that it's not breaking the bank. Now here's another one that really uh, we don't pay a whole lot of attention to and that's travel. When somebody says, well, come see us, we don't say to them, we want to make sure you're a bona fide customer before we get on a plane and come see you. We just go travel, drive or whatever it is. And we don't realize that the cost that we're spending to do that may be greater than what we're getting from the commission we're trying to sell to that person or the revenue coming in from working with that person. So travel can be a very big expense. And then you've got regular expenses, overhead, uh, staff, all sorts of things. And, and they're all lumped together in expenses and overhead, overheads, rent. You know, what are you paying for rent if you're paying anything? And uh, if you're self-employed, these can be uh, really crazy. So our COA, our cost of acquisition has to be improved upon before we make any money. So we use a program called Referrals on Autopilot. And when we use that to generate revenue, our cost of acquisition goes down. We drive it considerably down so that we don't have a huge cost when we acquire a new customer. And how do you fix the, uh, the screen here? How do you fix all this? How do you get this to work? Well, you focus on referrals. Referrals are the lifeblood of any business. If you're chasing new business, instead of focusing on referrals, you're going to always spend more money. But we know that when we get a referral, that referral is a referral coming from somebody we've already paid to acquire. When you focus on a referral from somebody that knows you, chances are they're already doing business with you and that cost has already been spent. So the more you get referrals from that individual, the lower your acquisition cost becomes. Focus on the cost. You got to know what the cost is first. If you don't know what the cost is, I suggest you figure that out because the cost is important as opposed to profit. And the returns. What are your returns? How many referrals are you getting? With our system, you can track your referral. It's almost predictable. A referral becomes an asset. 
and that asset is predictable and you can project on an annual basis how much you will earn for the year based on the amount of referrals that that you get and with referrals on autopilot the referrals become a dynamic referral instead of a static referral referrals are easy to get and and uh, they're easier to sell so when you get a referral the chances of selling that are great it's a 55 to 70 some percent chance I think 77 percent chance of selling a referral versus a new customer a new customer is anywhere from 5 to 25 percent so if you talk to somebody and their closing ratio is anywhere under 25 percent chances are they're focusing on new business and not referrals if you talk to somebody and they say their closing ratio is 55 to 70 percent they're working off referrals because the referrer has already paved the way for you and they're very low cost you can see how we do it with referrals on autopilot by digging into more information. Uh, but the purpose here is to show you how referrals on autopilot will reduce your cost of acquisition. And if you can reduce your cost of acquisition, you're in a better posture to, to make more money. And your savings on new customers through referrals because you've already paid for that in the low cost acquisition. So I hope this information was helpful. ROA, uh, referrals on autopilot, will help you reduce down your cost of getting customers. Our system has been proven for over 35 years. Uh, and if you go to, if you click the link below here, you will get more information and you can dig into it and, and see how it works. For this video, my main goal was to make sure that you get a handle on your customer acquisition cost and make sure that your customer acquisition cost is not greater than, than what you're, you're spending. So again, we want to make sure that our customer acquisition cost is lower than what we, is, is, that we're spending is lower than what we're making so we can show a profit. Thank you very much. Take care.